What up guys? Today we're back with another Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted video. I don't know why I keep coming back. You scare me. Let's get out of here. Go, 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 go. So far the game has been really fun. Scary, but fun. Maniacal Bunny won't leave me alone. I feel like I'm being harassed by a rabbit. <laughs> Which... How many people can say that? Prize cap. Because I saw a thing. I still want... Ouch. Can I get that thing? Not anytime sooner. <sighs> yeah, I'll leave that for her. I change everything. Is that a cockroach? But let's 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 do this. Let's get night four out of the way. Let's get the last night out of the way. I know what to do. I got a tactic and I got a strategy. We're gonna survive. Hopefully, maybe. Hmm. Okay. Make sure I can press it. Yes. Yes. Wait. Hold on, stupid. Oh, I need to go check that boxy. Okay, there we go. I can move it. Keep your eyes on Fox. Ah. Why do you roll? <laughs> Ready? We're all friends here, buddy. Foxy, hi. How you doing? Just go back for me, buddy. Go back. <laughs> I'm ready to hit this button. Try me, Foxy. I will push it. Here he comes, comes, comes. He's still there. He's still there. Ready? Could you not? Ready makes me have nightmares. You're gone. Here comes the chickity squawkity squawk bird. Okay, concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. 3 a.m. 51%. I'm okay for right now. Birds will pluck your feathers. <laughs> Can't open that door ever again. Freddy, what did I do to you? 4 a.m., 
Come on. Come on. Wait, is he not here? Check if the body's here again. Okay, now we watch out for Foxy. This isn't looking good. You almost got it, May. No, 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 bad, 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 no, 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 no. So, we could talk about this, just listen to me, listen, listen, no, no, bad, 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 oh. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> hmm? Nope. Let fork die. <sighs> Whoa. I'm gonna go try to beat that one one. That one one. Now I have to know because they gave me heart attacks. Let's do night one. Five nights at Freddy's 3. I know I don't really have an order, but that's okay. Moon cruising. Da -da -da -da. Oh. Hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. I promise it'll be a lot more interesting this time. We found some, some great new relics over the weekend, and we're out tracking down a new lead. Right now. So, uh, let me just update you real quick, then you can get to work. Okay, like, audio. Like a week, so we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you and past you and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as a security guard. Wow. So we'll be monitoring the on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out in the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a foxy head, which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. Okay. And we found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. You watch the fingers. Uh, <laughs> Uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. But uh, I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next oh, week, this is the I night may have to suit you up nothing. in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, Boo! <laughs> uh, but you know, oh, like my, I said, my. we're trying to track down some good things right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra you know, room that got boarded up. You never or gave me something me like that. that. So, we're gonna take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check you the security camera over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cams. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. Hmm. Uh, in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I, I wasn't joking about the fire. That, that, that's a real risk. Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is yeah, the ventilation. Is Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go off live, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. I can 
things move by themselves. So I'm pretty sure this is the night where the nothing happens. So we'll just look around. gets there, I'm going to be dead, spring trap, bad little thing. I have to nag, nag, navigate the death bunny. Well now that was easy. Do I get something? I do. No one wants you here. Okay, time to get in the mix. Eli has me saying that word now. Whoa. Hey man, okay, I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, these are like prehistoric. <laughs> I think they were like ah, training sorry. tapes for like other employees or something like that. So I thought we could like have them playing like over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes this feel legit, man. But I have an even better surprise for you. And you're not gonna believe this. We found one. A real one. Uh, 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 gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I'm, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. Uh, hello? Hello, hello. Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, these tapes will provide you with much hello. needed information on how to handle slash climb into slash climb out of mascot costumes. Right now, we have two specially designed suits. Uh, Hello. You get to stay suits. there. Now. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits. As accidents, slash injuries, slash death, slash irreparable huh? and grotesque maiming can occur. First, we'll discuss how to Is operate the animatronic. Don't. 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 Hands-free approach to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd pleasing value. How'd you get over the there, Captain? <laughs> insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil Go. and press the animatronic part around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure the spring locks are fast and tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. So we'll cover this in more Let's keep him there because session. in this room. Remember to smile. You are the face of Freddy Fazbear's pizza. Did it get darker? No, go back. Go back. Thank you, spring ball. No, no, spring boy. Get away, get away from the vents. 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 Hi. Away from the vents, springy. Away, bad boy. Hello. Bad. Good boy. Good. Stay there. Smile for the camera. Do whatever. Just don't move. Oh, you do that. I'm gonna 
touch around the place. Stay. <laughs> you had one job. Go back. I didn't say you can move, did I? Go. Go to time out. Hello. I don't. He's not listening to me anymore. Captain. <laughs> Christ almighty. Okay, yes, we listen. Okay. Spring. Let's let's talk business. You, me. We don't want to see each other. You don't want to see me, Pat. Darn it. Go back. <laughs> Is that my ventilation? Because I can't see. That's why I have it on the reboot all. Hi. Spring. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that could have been bad. Could have been real bad. This Bonnie boy. Nope, he's gone. Hmm. Which one should we do now? I think I want to go fix a chicken. Do I want to fix a chicken? We're going to go fix a chicken. Okay. Same rolls. Yep. Welcome back to Parts and Service. There have been customer complaints about Chica's acrid smell. Ow. Sounds like Chica has been rummaging around the kitchen again. Remove all food is particles from Chica's exterior and is? place it in the refuse bin on your right. I'm hoping you said grab the pizza. Good job. Make sure Chica is not hiding any other treats inside her beak. To open her beak, carefully press the two buttons located on the sides of Chica's head. Do I have to is the real question. Oh no. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh no. It looks like Chica has picked up some unwanted friends. To clear the infestation, apply the Fast Bear Entertainment restaurant grade chemi spray to Chica's exterior. Press Chica, the button. Avoid inhaling the chemi spray. <laughs> Exposure to cleaning, disinfecting, and maintenance chemicals may result in respiratory problems, skin, or eye irritation. Good job. Now reattach Stay. Chica's upper arm, hand, and cupcake plate. Excuse me, did you just move? Don't you fucking move, Paul. Well done. Boop. Oh no, it looks like Chica needs another dose of the chemi spray. Do not let the infestation spread. Be sure to give the canister button another push as needed. Return the cupcake to Chica's plate. You motherfucker. Dumbass. Return the great job. <laughs> Chica is ready to serve pizza and hugs to the kids again. <laughs> Take a complimentary slice of pizza for a job well done. If it was the last thing I had to do. I don't think this is safe. Go on, delicious. See you next time. I just ate a cockroach. I just... I just ate a cockroach. Okay, guys, let's end this episode with that tape that we found. I 
I think he heard the word tape. <laughs> You're scarier here. Four and five? I don't remember doing four. Have you ever heard of a guillotine paper slicer? It sounds made up, but it's an actual piece of office equipment. I didn't even know we had one in the supply room. I guess they're more common at businesses that do a lot of graphic design work. I remember seeing one when I was still in school, and even then, I knew how dangerous it looked. I was always afraid of losing a finger. Yeah. That seems so silly now. Jeremy used to do design work. I guess that's how he knew it was there. Use Jeremy. The drawers have been emptied out. Someone was here. I don't think it was spring cleaning either. No. There was plastic on the floor. Someone was definitely here during the night. It had to have been the client. I mean, they sent us that stuff in the first place with no explanation. Told us to scan it. Said it would expedite the process so we wouldn't need to program any pathfinding ourselves. It was a budget thing, I guess. Who was y'all? It was just quiet. junk. Circuit boards and things like that. Looked pretty old. Somehow, though, there was usable code on some of it. It seemed to take hold by itself. Things started changing. But then, he started appearing. Who At least that's he? what Jeremy said. Oh. Jeremy, Jeremy sounds insane. But this is what I'm gonna end the episode, guys. Thank y'all for watching. If you made it this far, make sure you hit that like button. And if you aren't already, subscribe to the channel to help us out. We're trying our best to grow. But on that note, I'll see y'all later in the next episode. Bye bye.